<clears throat> Hello, this is James George at Sorcery Shop with our third episode of Hobbyist to Professional. Taking you from a beginner all the way to a pro and teaching you everything you're going to need to know. So hopefully you guys have, have maybe mastered, started working on a gambling effect and also working on your sponge ball routine to make it funny, entertaining, and you know, just write down. Uh, I recommend keeping a journal throughout the whole process. So not only will you, you know, you're going to be learning things as you do shows, and you're going to want to record that. You're going to learn what not to do and what to do. So basically what we're trying to do here is you're trying to fail forward fast and filter out what isn't working and then finding out what is working, getting clear on that so you can develop those same things and incorporate them into your future routines. What is working, what's you know producing entertainment and a lot of fun for your audience and uh, you know overcoming a lot of uh, what's not working and getting honest about that and maybe you know taking a hard look at your own attitude or um, yourself in regards to how you're connecting with the audience and those things that you're trying to do so what I want to cover today we're going to cover just a simple rope trick but most importantly about this is not necessarily the trick itself but the process of learning a new magic effect and what that is. So basically I just start with the length of rope. Um, it should just be about as far as you can reach. And then uh, the effect here is that you don't let go of the ends of the rope, but watch what happens. See, I just bring the rope over my hand or over my arm, and then you just go inside here. And I'm not letting go of the ends of the rope, which is really interesting. Because if I just shake it, see what, what happens, we end up with a knot in the middle of the rope, just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and teach you this trick. It's a simple uh, magic trick. There really is a real knot in the rope. And I found that this routine is a lot of fun for kid shows and even adult shows, because you can get five or six kids on the stage and doing this. Um, yeah, I might even have a video clip of that I can cut in here and share with you. Um, but you just go over the top, onto the inside, and then back through this side, and then I just kind of pull it a little bit tight. But here's what happens, I'll just kind of do it in slow motion. As I'm shaking it, I'm letting go of this end and just re-grabbing right there. And then this hand comes through, which puts the knot in the rope. Really easy to do, but, but here's the process. When you start practicing this, you're going to want to do it 12 times in a row without making a mistake. So um, that's your first goal in terms of your practice. So it's like this. So when I shake it down, what, what's happening is I'm letting go there, but it happens so fast the audience can't see it. So hopefully that's clear on the video camera. And if you have any questions about that, post your comments below. And then I'm going to teach you one more, the follow-up to this, where you actually put more of a magician's trick knot into it this time. So you can work on that, play this in slow motion. If you click on the little gear on the YouTube channel just below the video screen, you can actually slow down the speed. So if you need to slow it down for learning purposes, this is great for other magic channels too. Uh, but anyway, so you come in here this time, and this time I pulled this hand through first, and I tighten that knot up. Then I let my hand slip out there, but I don't pull this tight. I leave it so that it's just kind of through like that. And basically this is a slip knot. So you can step on the other end of the rope, and then you can pretend that you're grabbing the knot and taking it off the rope, and then you can make it disappear. So that's all there is to that. This is a great stand-up routine. It's really easy to do, a lot of fun, and uh, you can expand on that. And I, you know, just a simple rope routine is very entertaining, 
get a lot of kids up there, have a lot of fun. And what I find is if you get enough kids on the stage, um, they'll actually end up putting a lot of knots in the rope and you can pretend like uh, they uh, actually did it by magic and that, you know, uh, it gets, creates a lot of excitement and fun for them and also the crowd wondering how they did it. You know, obviously they're not magicians, but they end up accomplishing the same thing you're doing, which I don't know, I haven't really paid much attention to what they do to do that, but they do it. <laughs> they probably just really tie a real mind. But anyway, it's a lot of fun, this is a great routine. But the point is, is the practice method here. That's what I hope to communicate and get across. And that is you wanna be doing it maybe 12 times in a row perfectly in the beginning without making a single mistake and to be able to do that consecutively. And if you make a mistake, you have to start all over again and then uh, work that way back up to 12. And once you reach the 12 goal, uh, you're going to bump that up to 24 and you're going to want to do it 24 times in a row without a single error. And this is how you can practice all of your magic and get it perfect. And that way you, you, know, you want to get to the point with all of your performances that you don't even have to think about uh, the slight or the move or the routine or any of the mechanics. And that's what's going to give you the confidence on stage and that's going to get communicated to the audience because without you being fully confident having conviction and be able to communicate that to your audience you know they're not going to want to they feel like they don't want to waste their time on you because you know on your body language is basically telling them that you haven't put a lot of effort into this and that's going to show and I notice a lot of magicians blame that on the audience and it's ridiculous and uh, you know what, you're not gonna get a reflection back out of the mirror any different than what the source itself can be. You know, How come David Williams or someone like that is always getting an amazing audience reaction no matter where he goes around the world? I mean, or a David Copperfield for that matter. He's never having a bad show, you know. He's never having a show where he's not evoking a tremendous response from the audience. And if we live by our excuses, then that's exactly what you're going to end up with. If you start blaming the audience and thinking, oh, it's a bad audience, blah, 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 you might want to take a hard look at yourself, you know. So at least that's your attitude. Yeah, maybe you will have a bad show here or there, but that's okay. I think it's an important philosophy to live by, whether it's completely true or not. That one, at least on that end. Because you always want to be asking the question, how can you make your show better? What can you do to improve it? How can you make it more entertaining? And you know what, by asking and writing down these questions, you're gonna find the answers start to come to you. You know, you might be lying there, when you first wake up in the morning, you know, your, your brain's been able to work on these problems all night, and the answers will start to come. You have a very powerful computer between your ears, and you can use that to your advantage, you know. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up, but this covers how you wanna be practicing your magic and how you can make it perfect. And so you can add, so we've added one more rope routine. You can be doing this close up or you can do it on stage. So it's very flexible in that regard. And then next time we'll be covering a new trick and something else, because we wanna get up to at least 10 tricks, my goal is that we will cover everything that will get you in the business of actually making money from performing magic and having the confidence to go into a restaurant knowing that you have a very entertaining show and you can deliver on your promise to your clients and you can start earning real money from your hobby. So again, my name is James George from Sorcery Shop. Uh, you can support our channel with uh, Patreon. I've signed up for that. We do a lot of really great things here in India um, in terms of helping people and helping elderly people or, or people with uh, financial problems or whatnot. Or, and so, yeah, if you could take some time, even if it's just a dollar a month, even, you know, just whatever you can afford, that would just be really great inspire me to keep going and making more great uh, series and channels for you guys. And this is for you. Be sure to post your comments below after watching this of what you would like to see. You know, if there's something you need to work on, 
uh, I might be able to brainstorm up some cool ideas for you. I'd be happy to do that. Or maybe you have a routine that you've been working on. You could create a video of that and uh, you know, just send me an email on uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook. Or you could just send it to sorcerymfg at gmail.com and you can contact me through there with any questions you might have or, or just post it below. You could maybe even post the URL to a video that you post or you can send it to me by the Gmail and I can watch it and give you some ideas and make a video specifically for you. Maybe you, there's a routine that you're struggling with and you'd like to, you know, uh, and you can post it there. If you post it in the link below on YouTube, what'll be great about that is everybody can uh, chip in and, and help you out as well. It doesn't need to be just me. So this is kind of a team effort. We're all helping each other raise the art of magic. And uh, our, you know, if we all improve our performances and we become the preferred go-to entertainment, you know, we've definitely proven our worth on uh, America's Got Talent and Britain's Got Talent. India's got talent, Australia's got talent, and magic's a big deal, you know, that's been amazing for our industry. And we can keep that going and we can keep, you know, rising to the top as the preferred entertainment when event management companies go to pitch some, you know, a juggler or someone else, you know, if magic is the number one thing. Um, you know, we're all helping each other with that. You know, we all help improve each other's show. Our reputation stays great as, uh, you know, and we're all getting more work. It's not, don't have a scarcity mentality. Don't think you have competition because you don't, other than, you know, in your own mind. And I think that if you take, you, you know, your practice and, you know, do 12 times as much as most guys are doing, then 24 times as much, in terms of your practice and you're getting that perfect maybe even take it up to 48 you know and you can dial it in get your routines perfect so that you're doing it perfectly every time you know don't feed yourself a line you know if you start buying into crap that's all you're going to be putting out you know so that's the difference and you know get honest about how much you're practicing per day you know you should be putting in four or five hours i know guys who are putting in 10 to 12 hours of practice every day um, that might be a little over the top and, and unnecessary, especially if your show's only 45 minutes. But, you know, it's up to you to gauge that. How good do you want to be? Where do you want to go? You know, and also it's not just about practicing magic. It's learning, you know, and a lot of other things we're going to be covering in this channel is, uh, you know, neurolinguistic programming, NLP. You know, I'm a certified uh, master trainer in that. And I'll be teaching you guys a lot about, you know, how to connect with an audience, how to develop rapport, and how to get yourself to take more action and uh, really stick to your dreams and goals and not, not let that go, you know. And I hope to get you fired up and working on your magic. And post below that you've completed, you know, you've got a gambling trick. Create that video and send me a link. Post it in the notes below so we can all watch it and give you some feedback on that. And we'll all help each other rise to the top. And yeah, I would also appreciate your support. You can go to Amazon.com. And if you type in sorcery shop rope, uh, we sell this in 25 foot links. And that would be really great. You know, we, uh, by supporting us right through Amazon, that makes it really easy. You can get the stuff right away. There's no problems. And uh, you get great customer service. And we're happy to serve you. So look forward to the next episode. My name is James George from Sorcery Shop.